dad and lived there until she was five. This is Jonathan Siegel. He plays basketball, tennis, and baseball and collects basketball cards. He's been to Florida every year of his life. This is Asha Arvindakshan. She speaks a little French and Malayalam. She likes to read mysteries, and she's been to India several times. And this is Robo Crook, Carmen Sandiego's burgling bag of bolts, bits, and bites. Robo Crook! His last known whereabouts? Carrara, Italy. In the first century B.C., Roman Emperor Augustus opened several marble quarries near Carrara. Their stone built the Pantheon, several imperial forums, and many other buildings. The Roman Empire fell, but the quarries live on. They provided stone for the Tower of Pisa, Michelangelo's David, the St. Petersburg Hermitage, and even New York's World Trade Center. There are now 225 active quarries around Carrara, or there were until today. When Robocop, <laughs> the titanium <laughs> troublemaker, cruised into Carrara and cribbed every last crumb of marble. <laughs> You've got to catch Carmen and round up Robo. This time you're... <laughs> Playing for all the marbles. <laughs> and here's Acme senior agent in charge of training new recruits, Greg Lee. Hi guys, how are you? Thanks a lot. Thank you. Hi Claire. Hi Jonathan. Asha, how you doing? Thank you. Yeah. Thanks a lot, you guys. Listen, I just want to remind you guys, if one of you catches Carmen San Diego today, you're going to get that trip to anywhere in North America, and that's not bad. You guys. Right? So we're going to start you off with 50 Acme Crime Bucks, and uh, you guys know how this game is played, right? So let's get started with our very first clue, which is the Acme Crime Net Computer. Right over this way, if you would, please. Usually has some troubles getting started, so let me just give it a good... <clears throat> okay. There's a note. Look at this. It says, Dear Greg... Get that robot out of my river. Sincerely, Mokele Mbembe. Oh, yeah, well, Mokele Mbembe is a mythical monster in the equatorial region of Central Africa. Now, legend says he lives in the swamps by the river along the Zaire border. Robo must be hiding there. Okay, gumshoes. Uh, name the river, if you will, please. Is it Nile, Congo, or Zambezi? And the clues that we heard. Home to a mythical monster, equatorial region in Central Africa, and along the Zaire border. Come up with an answer as quick as you can. Ash is ready. So is Claire. Jonathan's still thinking about it. Now he's ready. Claire, what do you say? I said, um, the Congo River. Congo River. Jonathan. I said, uh, Congo River. Congo River. Asha. I also said the Congo River. Everybody said Congo. Everybody's right. Nice job. That's the way we like to start shows off. Okay, you guys know every time we give you uh, give us a correct answer, we give you 10 crime bucks. So that means, Claire, you have 60. Jonathan has 60. Asha, 60 crime bucks. For our next clue, we turn to Eric Dorsey from Acme Giant Football Giant Net. Watch. Gumshoes, head for northern Thailand to the country's second largest city. Check the incredibly ornate Wat Prathat, a Buddhist temple. Most Thai men spend some part of their lives as Buddhist monks. If you see a guy in a monk's robe, with titanium feet, that's Robo. Thanks a lot, Eric. Okay, guys, name the city, if you will, please. Is it Bangkok, Sankla, or Chiang Mai? Remember the clues that we heard. In northern Thailand, country's second largest city, and Wat Prathat Temple. Come up with an answer as quick as you can. Ash is ready, so is Jonathan, so is Claire. Claire, what do you say? I said Chiang Mai. Uh, Shang Mai. What do you think, Jonathan? I said Shang Mai. Shang Mai. Asha. I also said Shang Mai. Everybody said the same thing. I can't believe it. You're all right again. Way to go. <laughs> Woo! It's gonna be some game. So that means, Claire, you have 70. Jonathan has 70. Asha, 70 crime bucks. That's the way to do it, everybody. Okay, for our next clue, we go to the one person... Hold on a second. Something's happening in the alley. I'll be right back. Hold on. Hey, man, how you doing? It's Chip Fu, everybody. How you doing? How you doing? What's up, man? Yeah, I have a clue for you. Cool. Robo Crook is in the country, yep, that had two parts. The Asian mainland island burner, yep, now it's time to start. These countries needed a plan. They turned the island in the Sulu Sea into a part to protect the turtles. Man, so answer correctly. I bought the danger turtles, gum shoes. There's no reason you can't answer, because you have all the clues. Let's hear it. Chip Fu. <laughs> Okay, Gumshoes, name the country, if you will, please. Is it Malaysia, Indonesia, or Thailand? 
Remember the clues that we heard on Borneo Island and mainland Asia, Turtle Islands National Park, and in the Sulu Sea. Asha, you're very fast. All right, just waiting for us to get going. Everybody's ready. Claire, what do you say? I said Malaysia. Malaysia. Jonathan. I said Thailand. Thailand. Asha. I also said Malaysia. Malaysia. The answer we're looking for is Malaysia. Nice job, ladies. So, Claire, you go up to 80. Jonathan stays at 70. Asha, up to 80 crime books. Now, for our next clue. You guys know what that means. It's time for the lightning round. These questions are all about Robo's most recent known whereabouts, which is Malaysia. For every correct answer, we give you five crime bucks. So, hands on the buzzers. Listen carefully. Here we go. The two parts of Malaysia are about 400 miles apart. Name the body of water that separates the peninsula from the island. The Bay of Bengal, the South China Sea, or the Strait of Magellan? Claire. South China Sea. Is right. Nice job, Claire. Five for you. Takes up to 85. Question two. According to Malaysian custom, young women shouldn't sing in the kitchen. Now, the question is, why not? They'll burn dinner, they'll crack the fragile Malaysian window glass, or they'll be fated to marry an old man. A Asha. They'll be fated to marry an old man. Nice job. That's right. Fine for you. Good. Last question. Kuala Lumpur, Malaysia's capital, is home to a very unique skyscraper called the Luth Headquarters. What's so different about this building? None of its floors are flat, none of its columns are straight, or all of the rooms are two feet high. Jonathan. None of the floors are flat? Sorry, that's not the answer we're looking for. Uh, Claire. Um, all of the rooms are two feet high? That's not the answer we're looking for either. Could you repeat the... I certainly can. Yeah, none of, none of the floors are flat, none of its columns are straight, or all of the rooms are two feet high. Asha. None of the columns are straight. Very good. Nice job. So that means at the end of that round, Claire has 85, Jonathan 70, and Asha 90 crime bucks. Okay, guys, for our... Greg? Uh, yes? It's time. Oh, you ready? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Come on. Just stay Come right on. there. Okay, just hold on, pal. Listen, I'll be right back. It's time for our weekly chess game, Acme Style. You ready? Let's rumble. Go! Hey, oh! Uh, pickle hop the queen's right shoulder. Oh, you can't do that on the first move. Already did. Can't do it. Then I call mayonnaise. You can't do that. Already did. Oh. Like. <laughs> Listen, every time you watch the show, write down what got stolen and from where when you collected four loots in location. Oh, oh, uh, steel, oh, steel. Oh, boom. When you collected four loots and location, write them down on a postcard with your name and address and send it to Acme Crime Net, Leo Box 4300, New York, New York. One zero one six three. You mud tied a jumpy turtle too. Oh no! <laughs> Every day we'll pick five people whose lists are correct and send them each a Carmen T-shirt. Here are the winners for today. Oh, uh, you can't do that. Hey, come on, you're out of bounds. No, 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 I'm you're not. You're out of bounds. No, I'm not out of bounds. I'm not. I'm not. I'm not. I'm time out. Time out. Time out. You can't call time out. Congratulations to all the winners. <laughs> oh. The com log roll capture. Oh. Rat. Rat. <sighs> all right. Well, listen. Nice game. Thanks. Too. You know, you're ahead by one. Yeah, yeah, no I kidding. thought I was behind. No, see, you're ahead. Mm. Same time next week? You bet. All right. What's the matter? You act like you've never seen two people play chess before. <laughs> Watch the phone tap. Robo. I'm sending you to a place where you can still find active volcanoes and lava. Isn't lava a human emotion? No, it's molten rock. Right. Head for the largest Hawaiian island. It's sometimes called Orchid Island because millions of orchids are grown there. Isn't grown a human emotion? No, it's the past participle of the verb grow. Right. Go to the island's largest city on the northeast coast. You can't miss it. Isn't missing something a human emotion? Robo, you've been watching too much Star Trek The Next Generation. Right. Okay, Gumshoes, name the city, if you will, please. Is it Kailua, Hilo, or Puna Lu'u? Remember the clues that we heard? Largest city on the largest of the Hawaiian Islands. Millions of orchids are grown there and located on northeast side of the island. Claire, what do you think? I said Punalu. Uh, let's see, how do you say that? Uh, Puna Lu Lu. Puna Lu Lu. Lu Lu, sorry. Lu. Puna Lu Lu. Okay, Jonathan, what do you say? I said Hilo. Uh, hi, uh, Hilo. What do you think, Asha? I also said Hilo. Hilo. The answer we're looking for is Hilo. Nice job, Jonathan and Asha. Woo! 
Okay, so that means Claire, you have 85. Jonathan, 80. Asha, 100 crime bucks. Okay, guys, for our... Wait a minute, that can only mean one of two things. Either my chili is overflowing on the stove again, or it's time for the plastic diver guy. Go! He lives a life of nature, our underwater ranger, the one and only plastic diver guy! PDG, what up? Boy, am I glad to be in this warm detective office. I just got back from some icy Arctic waters in Canada's Northwest Territories. I saw Robo skating across a group of islands just 500 miles from the North Pole. In 1845, an expedition looking for the Northwest Passage got stuck in some ice here and was never found again. Oh no, Greg, it's the ominous music. I was finally thawing out, and now it's... The one and only plastic diver guy! Go, 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 go. Plastic diver guy, folks. There he is. <laughs> oh, it wears me out. I don't know why. Get my breath. Okay, gun shoes, name the islands, if you will, please. Is it Queen Charlotte Islands, Belcher Islands, or Queen Elizabeth Islands. Remember the clues that we heard. Islands in Canada's Northwest Territories, 500 miles from the North Pole, an expedition disappeared in 1845. Jonathan's ready. So is Asha. So is Claire. Claire, what do you say? I said Queen Charlotte Islands. Queen Charlotte Islands. Jonathan. I said Queen Elizabeth Islands. Elizabeth Islands. Asha. I also said Queen Elizabeth Islands. Queen Elizabeth Islands. The answer we're looking for is Queen Elizabeth Islands. Nice job, guys. Okay, so that means Claire, you have 85 crime bucks. Jonathan has 90. Asha, 110 crime bucks. Now, we just received word that Robo has left Queen Elizabeth Islands. So let's pick. Oh, thank you. <laughs> All of these are worth five crime bucks. Hands on your buzzer. Watch the monitor. Listen carefully. Here we go. Robo rocketed to Manitoba's largest lake. Name it. Asha. Winnipeg. Is right. Then he carried the quarries to Medicine Hat, Alberta. What province did he cross on the way, Jonathan? Saskatchewan. Is right. Next, Robo moved the marble to the capital of British Columbia. Jonathan. Calgary. Sorry, it's Victoria. He escaped across British Columbia's northern border. What territory is he in now, Claire? Yukon. Is right. Robo raced from Yukon to the capital city of Yellowknife. Uh, Jonathan. Uh, Northwestern Territories. Is right. That means at the end of the chase round, Claire has 90, Jonathan 100, Asha 115. Give him a hand, you guys. Really nice. Good round. Now it's time for the final clue of this round, which means you guys have to decide how much you want to risk. If you're right, we'll add that amount to your score. If you're not right, though, we'll subtract it from your score. You can risk 0, 10, 20, 30, 40, or 50 Acme Crime Bucks. Take a look right over here, if you will, please. Here's a portion of the world where we think Robo is headed. Now, if you think you know a lot about this part of the world, you may want to risk a lot. If you don't know very much about it, though, you may not want to risk quite so much. So, take a look at the map and think about it. Okay, looks like everybody's ready for our final clue. Uh, we Greg. Yes. There's a fax coming in. I guess it's a clue, so, Chief. And you'd guess right. It's from Acme Baltic Net. Robos in a Baltic Republic. That's good. Mm. More than 91,000 acres of its forest are ruined. That's bad. That's very bad. Mm. Now, back in the days of the Soviet Union, the forests were used for bombing practice. The military also dumped lots of poisonous jet fuel on those woods. That, oh, that's very, very bad. Oh, yes. But now, don't confuse those Baltic republics with each other. Robo's in the northernmost republic, where the people have more in common with the folks in Finland than with the other Baltics. That's good. Well, it's good and bad. Get it? Got it. Good. Gotcha. Okay, gumshoes, name the country. Is it Latvia, Estonia, or Bulgaria. Remember the clues that we heard. Northernmost Baltic Republic. People have more in common with Finland than with other Baltics. And Soviet Union once destroyed many acres of forest. This is the final clue of this round. So once you're ready, lay those answers right down there in front of you. Looks like everybody's ready. Uh, Claire, we're going to start with you. You have 90 crime bucks. Before you show us your answer, how much did you risk? I risked 20 crime bucks. 20 crime bucks. What would you say, Claire? I said Estonia. Is right. Nice job, Claire.
Takes up to 110. Jonathan, you have 100 crime bucks. How much did you risk? I risked 20 crime bucks. 20 crime bucks? It'll take you up to 120 if you're right. What'd you say? I said Estonia. Nice job, Jonathan. Asha, you have 115. How much did you risk? I risked 20 crime bucks. 20 crime bucks. What'd you say, Asha? I also said Estonia. Nice job, Asha. That means Jonathan with 120 and Asha with 135. Jonathan and Asha, you're going on to the next round. Congratulations, guys. Claire, listen, you have nothing in the world to be ashamed of because you played a great game. We've assembled a kit that's going to help you in your next case. Chief. You've been extremely helpful in our search for Robocrook, and we're so grateful that we're giving you this Acme travel kit. Inside, you'll find an atlas, the official Carmen watch, a Carmen t-shirt, a subscription to National Geographic World magazine, but that's not all. To keep your eye on the ball, we're giving you a ball. Not just any ball, but a world ball. So, keep your eye on the ball, but be careful where you throw it, especially around expensive equipment. Thanks, Chief. Okay, guys, now it's time for us to go to Let's a Let's move it, Greg. Chief. Let's move it. Okay, Chief, please give me a chance. I'm trying to explain some things here. We'll, we'll go as soon as we're ready. Okay, uh, it's time for you to go to Estonia to try to find Robo and get back the loot. You guys all ready to go? Okay, Asha, if you get the door. Jonathan, if you grab my hat. I got the Chief. We're going to Estonia. <laughs> Where are the wheels on this thing? Well, I don't know. They were here yesterday. Okay, gum shoes, here we are in Estonia. Take your positions right over here, if you will, please. Uh, the chief, of course, is with us. She has some very important information she wants you to hear. All right, chief, you can stretch your legs now. Okay, gum shoes. There are 15 places in Estonia where you might find Robo, the Warrant, or the Marble Quarry. Here are a few of them. First. Tallinn, Estonia's capital and one of Europe's oldest cities. This section of Tallinn is called Old Town. It's really, really old. While you're in Tallinn, check out the Estonian Academy of Sciences. This is their lab of molecular genetics. Now, see that gizmo? Robo might uh -huh. just ask it out on a date. Quiz these local school kids. Oh, isn't it nice that youngsters all over the world share the same hobby? <laughs> Acting like major dorks when somebody pulls out a camera. Finally, put on your dancing shoes and head for the Estonian Festival of Song. But no moshing gumshoes. You've got to crook to catch. Now, that's your briefing. A rolling Estonia gathers no moss, but stolen granite is quite a loss. Go get them, gumshoes. Will do, Chief. Okay, guys, you know the uh, routine here. Loot, warrant, crook is the order. Asha, you had the most at the end of the last round. You go first. Okay, Old Town Talon. Old Town Talon. Nothing there. We're on our way, though. Jonathan, go ahead. Uh, Big, Ed Big Egg Mountain. Big Egg Mountain. Grab granny. Nice job. You get the loot. You get a free turn. Go ahead. All Estonian Song Festival. All Estonian Song Festival. Okay, you have the loot. You also have Robo. Remember, you have to go in the right order, though. Loot, warrant, crook. Be careful, Jonathan. Um, Tompia Castle? Uh, Tompia Castle. Okay, nothing there. We turn all three back around. Asha, your turn. Big, ed Big Egg Mountain? Big Egg Mountain. Quarry Quarantine. Go ahead, Asha. Tartu University? Tartu University. Nothing there. We turn them back around. Jonathan, your turn. Big Egg Mountain. Big Egg Mountain. Marble Mischief. Go ahead, Jonathan. Lake Peepsy. Lake Peepsy. You've got the nice one, Big Eggie. <laughs> Go ahead, Asha. Big Egg Mountain. Big Egg Mountain. Cop countertop. Can we do that on public television? I don't know. Go ahead. Olympic Sailing Center. Olympic Sailing Center. Nothing there. We turn it back around. Jonathan, your turn. Big Egg Mountain. Big Egg Mountain. Stolen Stone. Go ahead. Gnome Cafe. Gnome Cafe. Nope, sorry, nothing there. Asha. Big Egg Mountain. Big Egg Mountain. Rock, rock. Go ahead, Asha. Island of Muhu. Island of Muhu. Mm. Nothing there. We turn it back around. Jonathan, your turn. Big Egg Mountain. Big Egg Mountain. Jake and Tile. Go ahead, Jonathan. Um, Maudri River. Uh, Emiyorgi River. Nothing there. We turn it back around. Asha. 
Okay, Big Egg Mountain. Big Egg Mountain. Go Washa. Great Seagate. Uh, Great Seagate. The warrant. You, ma'am, have the loot. You also have the warrant. Do you know where Robo is? All Estonian Song Festival. Is he still at the All Estonian Song Festival? Robo. Yeah! yeah. You should be thrilled. Nice job. Okay, listen. You got Robo. Now all I have to do is put him in jail. So pull on the chain and do it. Robo Cook in jail. Okay, listen. We'll talk about your next adventure in just a little bit. First off, Jonathan, man, you were a great detective. You tracked Robo all the way here. We have something very special for you. Chief, you did great work helping us track Robo Crook today. And to reward your skill and dedication, I'm giving you the Acme Travel Kit and this automatic camera. Small enough to fit into your pocket and perfect for covert surveillance. Thanks for all your hard work here. And congratulations! Hey, see, listen, you made this thing look easy. Now it's time for you to try to catch Carmen San Diego. But before you do that, we want to find out where you'd like to go if you catch her. So here is your portfolio. Pinched from the set of Good Morning America. You know how to do this, right? And paper. Where do you want to go? Very nice, very nice. And you've seen the show many times, right? So usually about this time we get a call uh, about Carmen San Diego, where, about her whereabouts, and it happens right about now. That's right. Would you like to talk? Because they never want to talk to me. You just want to talk? Go ahead. default program when in prison for more than 11 seconds i automatically rat on my owner look for carmen in europe what do you say asha we're going to europe okay asha you and i are going to europe chief here's a list of places carmen may have traveled northern ireland france belgium the netherlands norway germany switzerland Liechtenstein, poland Lithuania, Hungary, Bulgaria, Greece. Greg, let's go to the map. Feel good. You know what you have to do here, right? Yeah. What you have to do now is identify eight locations in 45 seconds. When you're right, you'll hear this sound. If you're wrong, though, you'll hear this sound. If you hear that sound twice, leave the marker where it is, come back, and we will continue. If you're right, though, eight times in 45 seconds, you win the trip. You ready to do this? Yeah. You guys ready? Come on, Asha, let's do it. Come right over this way. Put a marker in your hand. Let's get 45 seconds up on the clock. All of your buddies are here to cheer you on. Make some noise, you guys. Here we go. On your mark. Get set. Go. Come on to Berlin, Germany. Germany. Do it, buddy. Do it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll go Norway. 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 Yeah. Greece. Athens, Greece. Greece. Do it. Greece. Yeah. Zurich, Switzerland. 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 Do it. Switzerland. Come on, buddy. Switzerland. Yeah. Poland. Crack out Poland. Yeah. Do it. Yeah. Part of Netherlands. 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 Yeah. Northern Ireland. Belfast, Northern Ireland. Yeah. France, France, Versailles, France. Yeah. Unbelievable. How do you feel, buddy? You should feel wonderful. Listen, you wrote down a few minutes ago where you'd like to go. If you caught Carmen San Diego, you did it. You and a parent are going to. Let's get California. Man, I'm proud of you. You knocked this in the head. Listen, you've been doing some great stuff for us here today. There's one more thing I want you to do. You know what it is? Do it, Randall Bella! Bella! Well, she sneaks around the world from Vienna to Carolina. Sticky finger pilks her from Berlin down to Belize. Take you for a ride on the Lone to China. Tell me where in the world is Carmen San Diego. Steal their stolen Oh, my God.
San Diego, and remember, hey, you crook, all vile and evil, we'll squash you like a little bold weevil. All contestants have been briefed regarding game rules prior to their appearance. All geographic information was accurate as of the date this